Hello, Jen Tozer, your portfolio manager here to answer the question, what do I do with some extra money? Do I invest it or pay down my debt? So here's the first question I would ask you. Do you have control of your spending? You will know that you have control of your spending when you earn more money than you spend on a monthly basis. And when you have extra expenses, you can anticipate them instead of accessing your credit line or running balances on your credit card. If you are not in control of your expenses or your spending, get some advice, find out why, and take control. So now let's go back to the original question. What do you do with your extra money? As Canadians, we tend to be debt adverse. We like to pay our debt down. So there's a real you know, preference to take extra money and pay off that mortgage. From an efficiency point of view, that's a good choice when your mortgage is brand new. Because when your mortgage is brand new, your interest costs as a percentage of your payment are actually quite high. And then what happens is over time, as you get closer to the end of your mortgage term, your $1,000 payment is mostly payment and there's very little interest. So if you're putting extra money on your mortgage, you're not getting a lot of bang for your buck. At the same time, you have the exact opposite effect when you're investing. At the beginning, if you're saving your $10,000 a year, you don't see a lot of value in the growth from the extra money because the size of your contribution eclipses the growth. You put in $10,000, it grows by $1,000, and you put in another $10,000, you don't see it. But if you fast forward and all of a sudden you have $2 million, the growth that you get on your portfolio becomes quite large. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a proper plan so you're being efficient with the use of your extra money. I hope that answers your question. If you want to know what the answer is for your personal situation, please give me a call.